Yo. Come on in. We gotta build some shelves in here. Okay. So I guess what we need to do is we need to find out from Nana how big, like the biggest things that she has and how big does she need these shelves. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if I could just go straight here to here, boom, boom, with some two by four, a little leg in between them. And that would be a great shelf. Kind of just frame it up in here. That would be nice, but I don't know if that's gonna be big enough. That's like a foot. So let's go see some of her stuff and how big it is. And then we'll judge it by there. So we took some measurements of Nana's pots and crap that she has that's going to go in this uh, greenhouse. And I think if I just put a board across here, which I think would work, that would give us about 13 and a half inches uh, for the sh depth of the shelf. And I think that's going to be sufficient from what she has. I don't think she has anything bigger than that. And I think what we'll do is we'll do the first shelf. Steph, I think we'll do the first shelf over here, uh -huh. over here, over here. We do the first shelf at like 20. So it'd be like 20 and then do 16 inches from there. 36 and then what? 52 and then 68. Okay, in putting all this uh, material in for the shelves, I'm getting so many random numbers that I was like, something's not right. And then going back and looking at it, we had the bottom squared up, you know, with the plywood, which was fantastic, but the top was not. So as you can see, we put some bracing on it. We got some bracing on the front and the back, just to square it up this way and square it up this way. So I'm thinking if we keep it racked like this for a couple days uh, while I'm waiting to paint it and stuff like that, I think it'll hopefully kind of just work itself out. And then obviously when we put the plastic on, the plastic, like I said, will also act like sheathing to keep it from racking left or right. So it'll keep it rigid up and down. By the time you guys all watch this, the game will have been over, but we are watching basketball tonight. We're not big basketball fans, but we are tonight. Cause the number nine seed FAU Owls hoot, hoot. just beat Tennessee the other night. And now they are playing Kansas tonight. And to you all, that probably doesn't mean much. And to me, it doesn't mean a whole lot either. But to my wife, guess who graduated from FAU? We Stephanie won't Ellis. say the year, <laughs> but undergrad F FAU. FAU Owls. So we're going to watch the game tonight. We're going to get a whole family shindig going on and have a little pate. Go Owls. Woo, 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 woo. Whatever they do. <laughs> Time to do a little storm door shopping. You know why I like this one? Why? That. Instead of that, or instead of that, or instead of that, or instead of. See, starts cheapest to most expensive, so. I shop on this side. I shop on this side. <laughs> I mean, it's only for Nana. But no, this is good. It's a nice white screen door, storm door. This opens, get some air in if she needs it. I think it'd be good. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. Got off work early today. Uh, we topped out, dried out, did something to the uh, duplex there. It's all dried in. So it's uh, Thursday. We got off a little bit early, which is fantastic. So I got a few hours before I have to get the kids, so I think I'm going to work on that beast, uh, the greenhouse. I got a few more shelves to put in, and then before I go and move it up onto the deck, I need to paint it. So I'm going to somehow get that thing out of there, hopefully, through these doors, and put it out in the yard somewhere, and I'm going to get Jamie's sprayer and just spray it. Um, I got black paint to paint it, but... I'm probably going to want to do two coats. So what I was thinking is I was just going to find some old nasty paint that I have laying around and just use that as like a base. Spray that on first, let it dry so it's almost like a primer. And then I'll go ahead and, and hit it with the black uh, paint um, so that it's going to look a little bit better. So I don't know if I have it up here. I'm going to go out to the shed here. Let's go take a look out in the shed. It's a gorgeous day today. Look at the dogs are playing. We got the new dog. This is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Say hi, say hi, say hi, that's Charlie. And you all know Addie, and Haley's way down there somewhere. Haley's down there, and Ellie's a baby. She's on the stairs waiting to go inside. But 
Let's go in here. Let's go in the shed. Y'all remember when I redid the shed? I got my pallet flag on there. And let's see if I have any junk in here. Some old paint I can use. Um, oh, it's not looking too good. I thought I had gallons of old nasty paint. So I got the shelves in. Uh, let's see. Let's take it around this way and check it out. So I got four on that side. Those are already in. Um, I don't know exactly what she's going to need. And I put two on this side just because if she's got some bigger, bigger plants and stuff like that, bigger pots, she can put them there. And then I put two little ones across the back here for some of her seedlings. And I put some bracing on there too so it's nice and sturdy. Now, I need to get this thing out there to, to paint it. What I'm thinking is this. I'm thinking I'm going to use that dolly. I'm going to put the dolly under here. And now I'm going to strap the thing to the dolly. And then I'm just going to pick it up like a freaking refrigerator. And then roll it right out this door. The door is 91, 94. And I got 91 inches on that thing. <laughs> so I don't know. I hope I don't have to cut this thing in half to get out of here. But I'm going to give it a whirl. It may be ugly. I'm by myself, so I'm just going to see if I can do it. If not, I might have to have some of the boys come over from uh, the job site and help me out. But you're going to see it because I'm going to time lapse it. So check this out. Well, that completely sucked. And the thing is, the time lapse did it no justice on how heavy that thing really was. And I thought I was going to die, but there she is in all of her glory in the driveway. Well, I guess today's the day. Uh, I got the power sprayer out. Power sprayer? No, paint sprayer from Jamie's. I'm not really sure how to use it, and he's not here. He's going out buying speakers or something. So I hope I can figure out how this thing works. I'm gonna run some water through it first just to make sure that my nozzle and everything is spraying. And then I'm going to take all that old nasty paint that I said I had, I'm gonna put it all in one bucket and mix it all up. So you can see from that first time lapse that um, it wasn't working, it wasn't sucking. So actually I called, <laughs> I did not call Jamie. I actually called Eric, because uh, Jamie's busy today. Eric I know is probably editing videos or something like that, so I gave him a call. And what happened is underneath this, in this pipe down here, or this hose, there's a little ball that kind of goes up and down that kind of is like a float ball and it was stuck. So now when I hit my prime. Oh yeah, she's priming baby. All right, so now I'm just going to make sure I got some through the hose there. Okay, so I got water good going through the whole thing. And then uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up that nasty paint. Wow! Wow, watch that. Ready? We're gonna try that again. That other paint just wasn't working, man. I don't know, it was just probably too thick or clogged up. It kept getting clogged up in the gun. So I called my girl, Tracy, down at Oxford's Hardware, um, and I told her I needed something cheap, five gallons, something good, hook me up. And dude, she did. She totally hooked me up with some Valspar white paint, super cheap. She had it laying around, and I'm just gonna use this to do my first coat, get it on there nice and thick, and then go back with my finished coat. So let's try this one again. I think Nana's gonna have a freaking heart attack when she sees this gravel. But I think if I just rough it around and move it around with a rake or something, it'll go away is what I'm hoping, I don't know. So that was not fun at all. Um, there's so many nooks and crevices and crannies and stuff like that. 
But I think I got it pretty good. I think I got a pretty good heavy coat on all of that. I got some on the leaves over here too. She's going to yell at me about that one too. But anyways. Um, and I think as much as I do not want to say this, I think I'm going to have to just roll the black on. I think trying to paint it on is going to be a nightmare. I think what I'll do is I'll just get a small little roller, a little three inch roller or something. And just meticulously just back and forth, up and down, all the cracks. I think that's going to be the best way to get everything painted thoroughly. And hopefully I can get maybe Stephanie to help me out on that one. But that's probably going to have to do that. On um, these, I got a couple good heavy coats on those. Again, I'll just get some beige paint to match the color of the house. And I'll just put a couple, roll a couple heavy coats on that. Again, I only got to do one side because you're only going to see it there in the back. All righty, it's about that time that we take a break and hear from our sponsor of today's video, High Sea Boots. Nope. Please don't skip, don't hit fast forward. Hear me out for a second. Um, you guys have to understand it's companies like High Sea Boots that support my channel to help me keep going and keep growing and making great content for you guys. So this is a great way for them to support me and also for High Sea Boots to get their name out there. A great company that's putting out great products. So please just hear me out. High Sea Boots, man, these things are great. They're super durable, super comfortable, and I actually love them. Hey, don't you already have a pair of High Sea Boots? <laughs> Yes, Stephanie, I do have a pair of high sea boots already. And that's how I know how great they are. I've had these things for about a year and I actually wear them every day and I love them. And what you're gonna see a lot on this website is 100% warm, 100% dry. And that's not just a slogan. These are actually words that this company lives by. And to prove it to you, they're gonna give you a 100 year warranty on these boots, 100 year warranty, which is awesome. Okay, so who wants free boots? Everybody's ears perked up, huh? Now I got your attention. Um, yeah, so, High Seas is actually running this awesome project. It's called the High C Product Tester Recruitment Project. And what it is, is if you sign up, you just use the uh, link in the description below, use the invitation code J, J-A-Y, that's it. Go ahead, get signed up, become part of this project. And if you get picked, you actually get to test free products for free every single month, which is awesome. Also, what comes with that is you get um, exclusive benefits like 20 to 50% off coupons, uh, which is awesome as well. And there's also more benefits but you have to check out the uh, website to find those out. So again, I would just like to thank High C for sponsoring today's video. Uh, companies like yours keep my projects uh, moving forward. And for that, I'm grateful. And I uh, hope everybody tries out some High C's or at least go on, sign up and try to get some for free, uh, test some for free. So thanks again, High C, and let's get back to some work. All right, so we got to get this thing up over there on the deck. So... to back a trailer up with a zero turn, but we're gonna try it. so I think we need to clarify the plan okay so you're gonna put that thing yeah on there yeah and then you're gonna drive it <coughs> over there but you're going down in the yard <laughs> and around yeah down the grass through the yard up and around I was gonna use a golf cart but a golf cart sucks it's got no power we need a side-by-side -side. so I'm gonna use a tractor instead okay and you're confident that thing's not gonna fall off of there when you're going down the hills I'm gonna strap it all right, here we go. Bye bye. So I know what you're thinking. This is probably not going to end well. heard a few people but we got this far now we need to get it up on the deck and a pro tip that i've found that some guys use i don't know if everyone knows about it or not but 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these plastic PVC pipes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick it up, we're gonna put the PVC pipes underneath it, and then we're gonna slide it across the pipes. That'll get me to the stairs. Once we get to the stairs, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try this first. So, step. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up. Step, you put that pipe underneath it. Okay, I have to give the dog a treat first for going poop in the yard. Oh, okay, cool. Are you still filming? <laughs> okay. All right. All right, this is going to be way too long. we got to hurry up. To admit, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I never, I never thought in a million years would actually get, get it up here. I was like, we'll give it a whirl. I thought it was gonna fall over sideways in the yard. To be right, honest girls. With you. All right, pull, pivot, pivot, pivot. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, it definitely wasn't pretty, but it's it's up there. So I found some old brown paint that we had downstairs. I think it's for the walls downstairs. And I think it might be close enough to the color of the house to where if I just rolled the back of these, I think it would be sufficient. Let's go uh, match this and see what we got. All right, so that's the color of the wall. It's not real close. <sighs> Which means I had to somehow match that color to the back panels. Yuck. Okay, I'm going to put a coat on this already just to get another coat on here. Because uh, this plywood I bought is kind of schisty. It's that kind of cheesy plywood, just real thin. So it looks like OSB. It's all kind of glued together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put at least a coat of this paint on here to get uh, kind of fill in some of those holes. And then I guess I'm going to have to get a gallon of paint to match this. I'm going to have to find a piece of this vinyl, find a piece of this vinyl to uh, take off and uh, go to Lowe's and match it. I guess I'm going to get at this painting of this thing. I guess I got one. I only really have one thing to say is that it's going to suck. But the spraying it was just such a debacle. And I just couldn't bring myself to do it again. So I'm just going to roll it. I'm going to get a little roller and just be meticulous. And, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I'm just going to paint it all black. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so first thing I've noticed is that the roller I have sucks. I mean, it doesn't even hardly roll. It's terrible. And there are so many nooks and crannies in here that I think I may be even better off brushing it. So I'm going to get a brush and see what that does and see if I can do it there. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to go out and get a new roller. Something that's bigger, nappier, something that can hold a lot of paint and just jam in all those cracks. So let me get a brush and see how bad that is. And then uh, I'll go from there. Well, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not good. And I think, I think a combination brush roller is going to do the trick i'm going to go get a new roller because just these bigger spots it sucks with the brush but if i can get the nooks and crannies with the brush and then <laughs> roll it faster um i think it's going to work because i've been on this side for about a half hour 20 minutes or so and i don't have a whole lot done i got a lot more to do so i'm going to go run and get a different brush or different roller and hopefully that will help us went down to oxford's you know my local hardware store there oxford's and i got myself a worcester four piece roller set i think this is going to do me better and i have a tray i've been using a drywall tray for my paint which hasn't been the greatest so i think this is going to work out better and uh, i love going out you know people that watch the show i ran into a gentleman uh again I, I forgot your first name i apologize mr martin lives here in whittier says he watches the channel watches the perkins 
uh, since almost day one. So we appreciate you. I enjoyed meeting you. Sorry I didn't get to deliver your deck boards. I actually called back to Oxford to tell you that I could do it tomorrow morning if you needed to, but they said you already left. So I do apologize. I felt bad driving home. I should have helped out and I didn't. So I feel bad. So Mr. Martin, thank you for watching. And uh, let me get back to some painting. One side is done. And I'll tell you the new roller is awesome. I hardly even had to use the brush at all, maybe just for a couple spots, but I think that's going to be good. The coverage isn't fantastic. Um, but I think for this, again, like I keep saying application, uh, for the greenhouse, I think it's going to be just fine. Um, it's going to be up against the house in the back here. It's a flat black. It kind of matches the trim. So I think it's going to look fantastic. It'll have the nice boards on the back. So I'm not worried about painting the back. It's going to have that plywood on it with the brown in the back, which will match the house. This will be that door white. I give it, I give it two thumbs up. So I'm just going to keep going town painting. I could lie. And not sound like a baby and say that that wasn't bad but no that was not fun at all at all at all at all at all i mean all the nooks and crannies and cracks and crevices it is what it is but hey you know what it's done i think it looks great uh, like i mentioned before it does say i read somewhere it says not to put this paneling all uh, that plastic corrugated panels uh on black but i mean it doesn't get that hot um, down here so I don't think it's going to melt by any means and I think it actually would be nice because she's going to be using it mostly in the colder months and in the winter time so I think with the sun beating on that black it'll actually heat it up a little bit and make it warmer in there for her which I think uh, will end up being perfect so uh, that's done and I'm never doing that again <laughs> I promise you that much All right, so I showed that clip to Stephanie, and I'll let you guys decide on what she told me to do. <laughs> well, happy Saturday. I uh, got a bunch going on. It's gorgeous outside. I wanted to get a little bit of stuff done today. Um, first things off is uh, I went to Lowe's last night, and I got a bunch of swatches, and I tried to match them to the house because I couldn't take any of the siding down to actually match the color of the house. So this is what we came up with and Steph put a coat of paint on these this morning. I hope that they're good. Uh, next is I'm going to install this Larson storm door. Uh, and what I also did is I bought another one for the front door of our house yesterday. So I kind of cheated a little bit. I put that one in this morning so I could figure out how to do it. So when I do this next one, it should just be boom, 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 boom put that bad boy in and I'm also going to uh, hopefully install this uh, plywood today and then I also bought I went to tractor supply last night and I bought some hog fence and I don't know if I mentioned it or not but I believe this is what I'm going to use for the shelves because I was thinking about it if I use plywood or wood a when she waters it it's going to get all nasty and b it's not going to let any sun go through any of the shelves if there's nothing on them to the plants underneath. So I figured this nice, hard, thick hog fence would work well. So I went and bought that today or bought that last night. I'll try to get that installed today too. I don't know. I'm not going crazy. It's so nice outside. I don't want to go nuts, but I'm going to get the storm door put in, get this paneling hopefully put on, and then we'll see what time it is. And then uh, the beauty of it is, is that now that the time change, I can work until freaking 830 at night. So when I get home from work, you know, I'm not tired, obviously. I've only been working all day. I can do some more work. Might as well, right? I mean, what else are you going to do? So, all right, let's get to it. Uh, well, it looks like I might have done something wrong here. It looks like my opening is too big. I don't know how that happened, but it might be too that these are bowed. These 
or kind of maybe even bowed a little bit because there's nothing really holding them in. I could put a spacer in there, but um, I don't think even at the top I got too much space. So um, I think I'm just going to rip a shim. I'll just get a piece of 2 by 4 and uh, just rip like a 7 16 shim to stick on there. And then I'll put uh, the other piece on there because right now the door is not going to shut. It's just going to woohoo go right through the other side. So let me just go rip a shim real fast. I'll shoot that up there and get that put in. All right, so I got these shims made uh, that I'm going to stick on here. Um, I did get some, and I didn't even think about this when I put the front door in. The front door is under the overhang. So I didn't even think about sealing it up at all because it doesn't need to be. But out here, I think it needs to be sealed up because with all the rain, I don't want rain. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's a greenhouse. It's going to get wet. But I think I don't want water getting back in there and doing whatever behind the uh, door. So, you know, I got some Lexel. So I'm going to put these on Lexel. I'm going to put the Lexel a little bit behind these tracks. The side track and the top track, Lexel it all together so that way it's kind of sealed up and it's not going to... Um, I had a little battery in the middle of it, you know, that screen. Oh, that's, that's all right. You could have left it on there. Um, <laughs> I could have left it on it? Yeah, that's right. All right, so, so <laughs> I'm going to Lexel it and, uh, and seal this thing up and then uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, Nana. <laughs> So I thought this would be a lot easier to put in than the front door because I framed this up and I figured it would be nice and easy and square, but it's not. And the reason why, yeah, I know you're thinking because I suck, but that's not the reason. The reason why is because <laughs> this door is jacked. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, I got an eighth inch solid gap right there. And then look at the top. The top is hitting. So something is going on. And I looked over here and this door is kind of bent over here. I don't know what's going on. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to manipulation... I'm gonna try some manipulation going on. I'm gonna try to take a screw. I'm gonna try to suck this stud over at the top. And see if I can get it to kind of scoot over a little bit. So I'm just gonna stick a screw in here on an angle. Oh, uh, you know what? That's not a, that's not a T25. Hold on, don't move. Stay right there, Martha. All right, so let's try this again. Did you shut that off? Yeah. Did you shut it back on? Yeah. Oh, he meant to shut it off. That's what editing's for. All right, I'll yeah. see if this thing sucks over at all. Did it move at all? I, I don't can't know. Tell. I'm gonna try this one too. Oh yeah, that one maneuvered a little bit. Let's try this one now down here. Try to get over here. Yeah, I can't get in there. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. That work? No, it made it worse on the bottom. How did it make it worse? What in the world is going on here? I right, shut that crap off. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what was with this door. It just. It didn't want to work. I had to shim it. I don't know, whatever, but it's in. Uh, one thing that I did not put in is the auto close door opener thing, shutter thing. I asked Martha because what will happen is if I put that on, the door will only open like that far and it'll kind of impede, intrude, something, whatever that word is, kind of the walkway. So this way she can actually open it all the way up while she's working in it. She can walk through and do her thing. And then when she's done, then she can just shut it. So I think that's good. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. All right, perfect. So uh, I think the plastic, hopefully the plastic will kind of lay maybe even over, over this a little bit. And that way it'll keep water from getting in there. But I did like sell that to kind of seal it up a little bit. And again, the plastic on the top is going to come out as far as I can pretty much until it would hit that. Um, just because the more overhang I have, the far, the least amount of water will hit that and go in there. So I think she's good to go. I'm done for today. I'm done. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. <laughs> Got way too, way too much footage. And I don't like to delete it because I feel like it's like gold. Like it's so hard for me to get enough footage to make these videos that I feel when I have more, I need to keep it. So I guess we're going to make this one a three-parter because if I made it a two-parter, this next video would be 
Uh, this video would have been like an hour long and it's just, that's too much to deal with. So we're going to make it a three-parter. I hope you're all right with that. Um, I got a lot more to do. I got all the plastic to put on. I got the shelves to put in. I have the back panels to put on and I have the electric to run, uh, which is enough. I could do a whole video, I think, on that alone. So um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out greatly. Make sure you hit the like button on all those videos. Again, helps me out. And then ring that bell just so you get notifications of all any upcoming uh, videos. And thank you again to High C for sponsoring today's video. Uh, again, we couldn't do it without you. I appreciate it. And one thing I forgot to mention is that from May 10th through the 18th, uh, use the discount code J, J-A-Y, that's it, and get 20% off uh, all the products on their website. So again, thanks to High C. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you part three.